Hey friends, what's up? There are so many things that go into making these videos. I just wish you knew everything that I happened. wish you knew, guys. I wish good. you knew. Yeah. But we've got Preston and Tracy in-laws here. Before we get talking to them, roll bumper. Really glad that mom and dad just moved in out here to Kansas City a week ago now, right? Mm -hmm. And we hope it's been okay. We hope you were surviving. It's been a great week. They, we've enjoyed them a lot. And yeah, it's been really good. Um, we just wanted to be able to share. We have people that have been following us for some time. And now we know that a lot of people watching these videos may be people that have just been tracking your journey as well. So we want to say hi to all new people that are starting to hang out with us uh, in this like social media atmosphere. And I wanted to maybe ask you a couple questions just so people can know where you're at and learn more about you. Mm -hmm. And the main one is, you know, you guys moved here from Pennsylvania and that's where a lot of the roots are for our whole family. Mm -hmm. And so wanted to hear what has that journey been like for you? What was it like to leave? Pennsylvania and come out here. Oh, wow. That's a very loaded question because <laughs> um, there's so many emotions involved in it. Um, it, it, was, it was a struggle at first. Yeah. We had to make decisions, uh, make the decision to come, and then we had to say goodbyes and we had to pack everything and we had to downsize. Mm -hmm. I got yeah. rid of a lot of stuff again. <laughs> many of you know we've <laughs> We've moved a lot yeah. in our lives, but we've never moved 20 hours away. Yeah. We can't just pop in and, and say hi again. It's, it's gonna be a little while before we come home. And, and um, I, I think I, I worked through a lot of all of that turmoil and struggle on our trip here because we were going through the mountains of West Virginia and it took forever that first day. It was a long, uh, what's the word, arduous yeah. journey that Word of the day. Word of the day, arduous. Thank you, Mom. I'll put oh. the definition below. <laughs> That'd be great because I'm not even sure what I. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, I think it fits though. So, I do feel like it, it does fit. It does fit. Yeah. So working through that, it was almost like a mourning process that we went through because, I mean, we couldn't get up over the mountains and the vehicle was overheating because we were pulling so much, and. Um, but you know that that last day of our trip we woke up and I woke up with a bubble in my spirit recognizing we were only a few hours away from Eric and Leah from Hadley I couldn't wait to hold her <laughs> and and it was just so exciting to know that we were moving forward where God wants mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. and how much um, we're gonna be able to give back because he's done so much for us and I'm just so looking forward to, to what we have in store for us ahead of us. Yeah. What about you, Dad? What are, what's been going on in your head the past couple of weeks as you've been... That's a scary question. I'm just kidding. Sorry. It is. In, in regards <laughs> to... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, it, one, th one thing I know is that this was not a move of our choosing. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so... That being said, it, it was God. It was God just gently moving us along, and uh, and uh, I, don't know, I don't even know how to <clears throat> describe it, but that um, it, it was very compelling um, in the, the way He led us by His hand and and, and uh, directing us uh, toward this ministry. So that being said, there was a, there was indeed a lot of emotion. Uh, yeah. The gamut of everything from sadness uh, uh, and loss to joy and excitement to what's ahead. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, there's there's the fear. Um, you know, it's just <laughs> yeah, there's fear. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the, but then because we know that this is where God wants us, um, there's the confidence in in what lies ahead mm -hmm. that. That he's prepared us for this this moment, this yeah. season, mm -hmm. to uh, partner with you guys in a ministry that uh, we believe is God honoring and wanting to build the kingdom. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're excited to be a part of it. We really are. That's, That's awesome. So good. Yeah. Well, we're 
we're excited for you guys to be here. And I know that as your family, working on this process for you, you know, the months leading up to this, we saw a lot of spiritual warfare happening as well. And, um, and looking in on that, we saw that as a lot of confirmation that God was leading and directing you. And, you know, of course, the enemy was trying to come against you, you know. <clears throat> and so I um, just want you to be encouraged that so many people have looked on this and said, ah, I see God's hand, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's really encouraging uh, to finally see you guys here. And that's, I mean, that's not the end, you know. This is like the start of, of just something new. Right. So what are you guys excited about? Maybe what's one thing specifically you're excited to do over the next few months? Well, for me, um, I'm just excited to start plugging into the community and getting to know the people. Um, as far as a two, three month goal, as it were, um, I'd love to see you know, relationships beginning to be built with five individuals, couples, yeah. um, and then uh, maybe one or two of them starting to really invest in their life and disciple. And, Mm -hmm. I've already had one that I've met that is looking for a mentor, and mm -hmm. you know, so, so I'm I'm just mm -hmm. excited about using who God's created me to be to just make contacts and uh, just build those relationships, and uh, through that authentic uh, relationship building, just point them to Jesus. So. Yeah. The guy's only been here a week and he met a recovering addict in the park <laughs> and the guy wants to be mentored. Like that's yeah. awesome. We Change information. I mean, we're super circle. excited about that. What yeah, about you, Mom? That's cool. Well, just to follow up on the authentic relationship, I'm just really excited about um, being able to get to know the people here in the community. But also Eric and Leah and, and little Hadley because I get the opportunity to do some babysitting for her and, and just connecting that way and, and allowing that to flow out into people that Leah has already started mentoring, some of the ladies. And I've already met a couple of them and I'm excited to build some relationships there. And then, of course, um, the relationship building, you know, through radical hospitality and inviting some mm -hmm. people in, meeting our neighbors and maybe taking some food over to them. Um, just doing some of those kinds of things I'm looking forward to doing over the next couple of months. She gets it. You get it, Mom. Food. I get it. So food. Awesome. It's all about the food. <laughs> yeah, and we feel like you guys are going to fit in because For sure. this is all stuff that we care about. We're, we're super, super excited to have Preston and Tracy with us, Ryan and Joy, and as mm -hmm. God is continuing to build this team where we can reach more and more people that are far from God. We're really excited about it. And just to kind of sum all this up, what I'm really excited about is this just is a picture of um, the journey that Abram took in Genesis 12 where God told him to go to a land that he didn't even know mm -hmm. to be a blessing to other people and I just think that like faith doesn't grow in comfortable places it actually grows in uncomfortable environments because he is the comforter the paraclete and so just knowing that your guys' faith is going to grow and our faith has grown mm -hmm. and I'd encourage you guys as you pray and support and, and as you live out <laughs> Um, Jesus' life in front of other people that you would take steps that maybe into the unknown where your faith can be stretched and you can grow and we're really excited about seeing more people come to know Jesus more people um, just grow in their relationship with Jesus as well but we're super thankful for you guys we're thankful for your love your support your prayers and all that so continue to follow our journey and um, yeah we'll keep posting these videos and keep watching them and liking them and sharing them and all that other good stuff <laughs> sounds good thanks for watching guys yep. thanks yeah bye bye, -bye. love you guys